In this video, we're going to talk about the Rotary International Presidential Citation and how the club can use it as a planning tool. In planning, if you don't know where you're going, you'll end up someplace else, said Yogi Berra, or failing to plan is planning to fail. I like to think of the Rotary Presidential Citation as the launching point for many clubs to be able to uh, start their planning exercise. And uh, this one in particular for 2015-16 I think has a lot to offer. President uh, Ravindran has set out a, uh, an, an ambitious but doable presidential citation and clubs can use it to uh, set up their uh, goals for the coming year as well as track their progress. And for the very first time he's making good use of the Rotary Club Central, a tool that we've had for several years but now have even more need than ever to use. So there are some details in this uh, presidential citation you can get from the website and it's a simple form. We're going to talk about all of the activities um, in various areas, mandatory activities, membership development and retention, the foundation giving, online tool adaption, humanitarian service, new generations, and public image. And we'll go through each one of these individually and talk about what it would take for your club to uh, be able to be eligible for the presidential citation. And again, as to use these set goals and use as a planning tool. Under the mandatory app uh, activities, I think you'll find that uh, this is something that every club can do. First off, you just merely have to go into the uh, Rotary Club Central and set 15 goals for your club. Uh, we've had tutorials on Rotary Club Central before. It shouldn't be hard for you to do, but if you want to review that material, go in. There are many goals in all three of the areas, club, service, and foundation, so just go in and set 15 goals. Secondly, you have to be able to pay your July semi-annual dues to RI on time. Every club should be able to meet these, so those two mandatory criteria are something you can manage. Next, under membership, de membership Development and Retention, your club will be, all membership data will be verified by My Rotary or through your integrated uh, approach, but on a, the RI system. So clubs must be able to show that they uh, can do three of the four uh, activities. Uh, a net gain in membership, small clubs up to 49 members should be able to get one new member. Large clubs will want uh, more than 50, will have, a, have net two. In addition, they need to have a net gain of female membership. Small clubs again, one female member, and large clubs uh, uh, two. These can be combined, as I understand it. So if you get uh, two female members, your club over 50, you've met that met both of these goals. So three of the four goals need to be met. Improving membership retention by at least one percent per year. This would mean that your uh, depending on the number of clubs, again, is calculated by Rotary Club Central, you're going to find that uh, you can manage to uh, keep a new member a little bit longer. Retention rates need to be high. You only need to be able to approve over last year. Increasing new member sponsors by at least 1% per year. Again, sponsors are uh, important to bringing in new members, so if you can get in a club of, uh, of uh, 50, if you can get uh, one more member to bring in a new member, then you've met that goal. Again, all tracked by Rotary Club Central. Foundation giving. They uh, would like you to be able to achieve two of the following goals, uh, four goals uh, for club giving and recognition. Support our foundation by contributing at least $20. So a club merely has to contribute $20 to the foundation to meet that goal. Attain a minimum annual fund contribution of $100 per capita. This has been a goal for uh, the Rotary Foundation for quite a number of years. So if you've got 50 members, they're looking for $5,000, either from the club members directly or from the club to make up the difference. Two of the four goals, remember. Have at least 10% of the club members enrolled in Rotary's reoccurring giving program, Rotary Direct. This is where you do have direct uh, deposit to Rotary International. It's easy to set up. Um, again, 10% of your club members, so if you've got a 50 club, 50 members in your club, 
uh, five members enrolled in this would you'd meet that objective so you may find that your clubs already have this uh, this goal met so uh, job done you can uh, the president and the treasurer can go in and check this uh, um, the various reports on Rotary Club Central increasing the total number of beneficiaries bequest society members or Paul Harris fellows in the club by at least one uh, this should be fairly easy for most clubs to uh, uh, attain uh, merely get a new Paul Harris member or have somebody sign up their will to become a member of the bequest society um, all very easy things to do online tool adaption all the data on these goals will be automatically recorded by the actions undertaken by your club. Clubs must achieve at least two of the following goals. Have at least 50% of the club members registered in My Rotary. By this, it means that your club members will need to uh, go to the RI site and complete their profile. Apply for a, uh, a password, which is a two-second job. Uh, make sure they're just using their email address, uh, enter in, and uh, complete their profile at least a portion of it so they'll have to have logged into RI once. What some clubs do is bring a laptop or two to their club meetings and just have a day where people sit down and do it. So uh, 50 member, my 50 member club would have uh, 25 members you've met this goal. Again you might be surprised at how many of your members are already on uh, my Rotary. Post at least one initiative to Rotary Club uh, Showcase. Uh, this is um, on the RI website, you'll find a Rotary Showcase. Uh, again, about a two-minute job to uh, post a little blurb, but once you're in there, uh, name the project, post a picture, tell them how much you spent, what the activities were, and you're done. Maintain a project in need of assistance in Rotary Ideas or contribute to a project on Rotary Ideas. Rotary Ideas is one of the uh, crowdfunding uh, solutions that Rotary International has and you can find it again by uh, looking on the Rotary International website. Um, the easiest thing to do is to go in and find a worthwhile project and get a member of your club to contribute to it. Um, I contributed personally to the uh, Miles for Rotor, Miles for Polio and uh, so that would count as a, a project but you'll find ho literally hundreds and hundreds of projects that you could support or if you're a club uh, support start your own project in Rotary Ideas. Have at least two club members participate in the discussion group in my Rotary. Again discussion groups are a part of Rotary Club Central when you go into uh, uh, go into my rotary you'll see the discussion groups on the right there are hundreds of groups you can join just like any discussion group out on the internet in general find a discussion group that uh, you'd like to join and participate in uh, two of your club members join and again you're in these will all be kept track of by uh, rotary club um, central as a report under humanitarian service clubs must achieve three of the following seven goals they must sponsor at least one one Rotary uh, Community Corps. There's not any of those to my knowledge in our district, but uh, you can certainly check them out by going to Rotary Club Central and, and looking up uh, the Community Corps. Ensuring at least one club member belongs to a board-recognized Rotary Action Group. There may in fact be uh, some of uh, those people in our district to check with your club members, but you can report it on Rotary Club Central. Have at least one club member attend a grant management seminar. Almost every club in our district has done one of the seminars this, or one of the several club seminars this past year. So that should be something you can do and you just have to report it. Uh, you have to, these following achievements can be done in either single projects or multi-service projects. Partner with the foundation in sponsoring at least one project funded by a global grant or a district grant. Uh, many of our clubs already do this, so you just have to report it, and uh, it's done. Uh, get 75% of club members involved in the hands-on project participation. Uh, we all have work days and projects in our community. Again, a matter of reporting that number to uh, Rotary Club Central. Establish a partnership with one or more corporate or government entities and conduct a project together. And clubs can report this in Rotary Club Central. Again, not hard for most of our clubs who are involved with uh, either a corporate entity or a government entity to conduct a project. Enhance a project's scope and visibility by partnering with at least five other Rotary Clubs in our region. 
some of the cities I know are already doing this, so Western Nova Scotia, Halifax, St. John's, uh, the uh, find another Rotary Club and uh, and um, I'm suggest that you be involved in a project together and you can uh, report this in Rotary Club Central. Under new generations, your club's Rotaract or Interact Club must be certified with Rotary International and uh, uh, we've gone through some efforts to confirm this, but you can uh, contact Rotary.org if you're unsure or check with the Rotaract or Interact chairs in the district. Clubs must achieve two of the following goals. Currently sponsor or co-sponsor a Rotaract uh, club. Uh, there are five in the region, so uh, five or six we can uh, you can do that. Currently a sponsor a community-based Rotaract club. This is uh, uh, the new thing. There is uh, one of these in St. John's now, uh, but uh, there's obviously opportunity for them elsewhere. Whether you can do that in the coming year is you better start planning now. Currently sponsor or co-sponsor an Interact club. Again, there are Interact clubs all over the region, and uh, if you're not a sponsor of one, talk to a club that is, create a new one, and uh, get it underway. Have at least three club members mentor a Rotaract or Interactor uh, in some aspect, and again, report this in Rotary Club Central. So again, even if you don't have an Interact club in your area, contact uh, one that does, find an Interact or Rotaract member, and uh, see if there's some way that you can uh, mentor them in some fashion. Public image. This is an interesting one and uh, I think something that you can do. Clubs must achieve at least one of the following two goals. Update your club website and social media using Rotary's visual identity. This is the example of the uh, uh, Rotary identity for District 7820. So it just means putting the new club, the new Rotary uh, logo on your website uh, or social media site. Again, fairly straightforward for those clubs that have those venues. Update a club brochure or newsletter using the visual identity guidelines. Again, f putting the new logos on, using the new voice and texture, all things that clubs can do. And so they're encouraging you to do that. Most clubs should be able to do one, if not both of these. And report it on Rotary Club Central. So all activities for the uh, uh, presidential citation must occur between July 1st, 2015 or April 1st, 2016. So they need a little bit of time to uh, accumulate them all before year end, but you have lots of time in the interim to plan it and then get it underway. All the recording will be done automatically by Rotary Club Central. So you'll uh, find that once you set your goals and fill out the data on Rotary Club Central, then it's recorded. There's no further application like there has been in the past. There will be a report for the presidents and uh, district governor and it'll be a yes this club made it or no this club didn't here's an area that you're short so you can there will be tools to track the progress uh, for the club executives through Rotary Club Central so you want to become familiar with them so you can say say at Christmas time here's something we need to do and and uh, and get it done in the next few months to uh, be automatically recorded so there's nothing like getting the presidential citation uh, to lift club morale uh, there are banners to be put on, uh, patches to be put on your banners. It's a great morale booster to say, here's the goals, we set them and we achieve them. It can help you uh, move your club forward and uh, give them quite a little lift. So consider the presidential citation as something that your club can uh, do to uh, uh, plan for the next year. Start your planning now. Uh, extend it as far as you can, use the tools that are available, and be a gift to the world.